How are you doing? Doing all right. How much it's raining of... here? So if you hear a loud boom, that's the thunderstorm that just started like ten minutes ago. So how much of the eclipse did y'all? Or, or it's the pressure cooker bomb I have in the garage. Or it's that. Uh, we were in like a seventy percent area. So I got I was I'm at the cat shelter on Mondays, and like as soon as I got there, the the sanctuary director was like, "Oh, you're just in time. We're gonna watch the eclipse." And I was like, "Oh, I don't have glasses." She's like, "We have." So we had like three pairs of eclipse glasses that we were all just like passing around. <laughs> I admit I did look up once without the glasses, but it was cloud covered. So I looked up and I could see the crescent like through the correct clouds. And that was pretty cool. Well, um, I, uh, I, I, Charleston was right in line for the totality. That's right. You were. Yeah, we did. Would you like to see what, what, uh, I got some video of it. Would you all like to see what it looked like? I didn't, I didn't get to see your awesome video. Let's, let's have a look. Let's all of us have a look at, uh. That's what the eclipse looked like. I mean, really, the the uh, the sun was completely obscured. It completely um, occluded. Yep. Yeah, that that sure is an eclipse, huh? But uh, miracle of nature. <laughs> that, I that was thing. expecting that all the cats would be acting kind of funky, but they really didn't care. Like, you always hear animals go nuts when stuff like that happens. So I'm like, great, I'm going to be a place of litter with 150 cats. Like, we'll see who's going that shit. And they were cool. They, yeah, uh, the cats could, cat, cats honestly could not give a fuck unless it's yeah. in there, like, within three feet of them. Otherwise, they don't give a shit. One of my buddies, that's one of my favorites there, got punched in the nose. And he had a little bit of blood here. And oh. So he was a little grumpy about that. But, you know. You put 20 cats in a room, no matter how big the room is, eventually, at some point, there's going to be some fights. So, my Simba got punched in the nose, but he was okay. I brought him the kind of bet he likes, and that made it all better. So, let's get to this stupid shit this week. Do we have a clip stupid? Yes. I mean, our fucking idiot in chief literally just looked right up at the sky. Yeah, goddamn. All it. his aides yelled, don't look at it. Fuck you, I do what I want. Yeah, that that's I was really hoping he'd finally get smote. Disappointed about that. Just leave a toupee and an ugly pair of shoes. <laughs> Each week, Catherine, for you dead audience go off the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible shit. Bring it back here. We'll send it. We like to call Crazy. What the fuck is wrong with you? And yes. Yes, the eclipse. God damn it. It, it. Yes. Yes, fucking really. Now, keep in mind, these are, this is what, what I like to call early days because it only just happened. I'm sure by next right. week. By next week, we'll have the real shit like the cults. But, but we do have. Could you tear that paper a little louder? Sorry. <laughs> God damn, Dara. Why? You yell at Grady. <laughs> And he can't even understand. I like you. Grady. Awesome. Grady can't even understand English. Uh, so just trying not to mess up your show. Auto theft suspect arrested after stopping to watch the eclipse. Oh. Okay. Orlando, Florida. Authorities in Orlando say an auto theft suspect who wanted to watch the moon blot out the sun instead has a blot on his record. Okay, you know what? That's a pretty good one. That is a pretty good that one. That is a pretty good one. They didn't even that. they didn't even use the word eclipse as an eclipse bun. No. That that was that was good. You did good. That was, that was well crafted. Orange County Orange County Sheriff's Office said on its Facebook that uh, Joscan Rosado was arrested. Monday after he parked what deputies say was a stolen car to watch the eclipse. <coughs> deputies say Roscato stole the, the vehicle and, unbeknownst to him, was being followed by detectives with the auto theft unit. Deputies say he was stopped at a hardware store to purchase a welding mask for watching the eclipse safely. Well, good. He Apparently welding mask works for that. I didn't know that until Monday. He was arrested next to the stolen car, wearing the welding mask, and looking up at the sky. That sounds like, like a, 
a third stringer supervillain origin story. I'm just saying. You know what? Arrested in a welding mask during an eclipse, like. If if you really want to see like a once in a lifetime thing like that, maybe take the day off from crime. Yeah. Because the cops don't. I mean, kudos just not driving and trying to watch it. <laughs> Good job for road safety. Did you see the 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 traffic map in the path of the totality? It was just like there's green lines all around it, and then just wherever the totality was, red lines, red lines. I also saw all the highway signs that were like, you cannot park on the highway to watch the eclipse. Don't do it. People didn't get as excited around here, I think, because we weren't we weren't in a totality area, so everyone was like, oh, yeah, look, there's a crescent sun. And it was a little cloudy that day, so it was a little hard to see, but, you know. It just... It's it's not like a national holiday. The cops are not off duty because you know they the work moon. on national holidays too. They will arrest yeah. your ass on Christmas. There's they will. You, you don't. It's not like everybody's like no no time out. We're all going to look at the sun <laughs> for two minutes. It's not purge day. And then we'll go back to the crime. We ain't going to get that till like 2019, <sighs> after the midterms. Then we'll get purge day. Oh, Tara, why did you have to say that? Is that because it's a segue or because you're afraid it might actually come true? Because I'm a little afraid. Less so considering I married Commando here. Suspect admits to doing meth while throwing rocks at cars because he believed the purge was happening. <laughs> Okay, my segue powers are not that good. Like, <laughs> that is the world's worst superpower. <laughs> I am the most useless X Man. <laughs> no, I'm, and I'm that's right in a world with fucking Dazzler. I'm right there with you because you know what my my mutation is. I have a tooth with two nerves. Ooh, that's it. That's my mutation. Your dental pain man. And I am Segway Woman. Together we will take over absolutely nothing because <sighs> those powers suck. Man was arrested on Saturday for throwing rocks from atop an abandoned building. Told police he had done methamphetamine and believed the purge was about to happen. Not a real thing. And he looked. Yeah. Let's look at him. There's Jeremy A. Perkins. 27 is charged with two counts of second degree assault, two counts of armed criminal action. Court record state police were called to the 9th and Kensington around uh to 9th and Kensington around noon on Saturday on a report of someone throwing rocks at passing vehicles. Police arrived, they saw Perkins standing on the roof of the building. Officers uh, officer said he exited his cruiser. Perkins threw a brick in his direction. Okay, that they don't like. Don't do that. That's right. I do have another superpower. I can get people fired from the White House by doing my makeup. <laughs> Every time I, like, groom myself, somebody loses their fucking job. So there's that. For God's sake, we're doing your, we're going to dye your hair next week. Maybe he'll resign. Okay. Perkins was interviewed at police headquarters on Locust Street, where he said he had done meth the night before and climbed a tree and onto the roof of the building. He said someone had told him the purge was happening. The apparent reference to a 2013 horror film features a violent scenario in which criminal acts are temporarily decriminalized and society plunges into violent chaos. Um, this is a bad drug. I think we've covered this from many angles. Here's the thing, like, if you think the purge is happening... And your reaction is not to hunker the fuck down somewhere. The crime you choose for fucking purge night <laughs> is just throwing rocks off a roof. I know, right? If it's like steal some shit or something. Drive it, drive an 18 wheeler off an overpass just to see what it's like. Right. Like do some Grand Theft Auto shit, man. 
you know, like, like if I thought that if the purge was real, I would hunker the fuck down and you know wait for him to tell me what to do. But if I were going to decide, you know what, it's purge night, I'm going to fuck some shit up, I would pick something a little more impressive than throwing rocks off a roof. Yeah, I know. You have all the options, all of the laws to potentially break. And what do you do? You're back in the Stone Age. Right. On top of a tall, you climb a tree and you're throwing rocks at people. Like, way to fucking go, super criminal. That That is, that is the opposite of innovation. That is the saddest story of underachieving <laughs> that I think I have ever heard. Like, that is aiming low. <laughs> you just have no ambition in life. None. Also, I think this falls into, this is a bad drug, because if the drug, if you're taking a drug and someone can tell you the purge is happening, and you go, shit, really? That's a bad drug. Yeah. Don't don't dye Tara's hair. Dye Dan's hair rainbow color. Dan's hair's already been blue. His hair has been blue. Yes, been blue. And very very long. Um, but right now he works like a sellout corporate job. So can't do that. He's got norm core. He can. There was that time it was midnight black too. He, he can pull a Leland Palmer. He has. No, I mean a reverse Leland Palmer. Oh, yeah, he used to color it, like, blonde, but he looks no, better. No, 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 like... early in the, in the series, before the, he had his hair dyed, before the white bit, so it was yeah, all it was black. Brown. He did have, like... Yeah, you remember the... He did have, like, shoe polish black hair for a while. It was not... Dan Dan decided he wanted to, to dye his hair black one time, so, so Dan put the hair dye in and decided, since it was gray, he should probably leave it in twice as long. Don't do that. You dyed Dan's your scalp hair, black, didn't you? Dan's hair at that point was like sucking other colors in. <laughs> it was as goth was. as he has ever <sighs> been. I was indeed so dark I farted in bats. That's been a real problem around the house, actually. Yeah. Just teach the cats to kill them. Oh, let's move mm. on to Florida. Well, no, we're, was this all Florida? We haven't even left Florida, I don't think. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We've set up, we, we've like got a timeshare for Christ's sake. All right. I speak, I, uh, God damn it. Woman drunkenly bites man's fishing line at St. John's County Pier. What? <laughs> like she pretended to be caught? It, it's more than that. Uh, St. John's County deputies arrested a woman after she bit a man's fishing line and swam off with his lure. Oh, you don't do that. Fishman told deputies that 22-year-old Alexandria Turner appeared to be intoxicated when she swam up to his fishing line and cursed him out. Wow. She, she bit the line and swam away with the rigging. The police asked Turner to come to the pier where the fisherman had rented the pole, she became belligerent, refused to walk inside. If you say Turner began creating a scene and upsetting the, quote, sense of public norm at the pier, they tried to take her in protective custody. She refused to let deputies handcuff her and screamed, quote, I'm expletive naked several times. Deputies arrested Turner on suspicion of distortedly intoxication and resisting arrest without violence. I Lady? First you don't off, fuck with a fish. Like my nephew is really into fishing, and he used to lay out all his lures on my bed, and he had like a hundred, and he could tell me what all of them were, and what fish they were for, and those things are like little gold nuggets. Like you don't fuck with those things; they get they get mad. Who also, goes, you're not a fish. Who, who also goes, don't swim drunk? Who goes swimming drunk? Don't do that. That's not smart. What you the, will die. Who the who the fuck goes swimming drunk? You're not even supposed to swim after eating for like 30 minutes. I, I've gone swimming drunk. Really? Yep. Man, when I am on land drunk, I have a hard <laughs> enough time operating and figuring out directions like up and down. You compile that with water? 
with weightlessness. I'm a drown. And surrounding yourself with things your lungs cannot breathe. I'm a drown. That's. Don't swim drunk. Don't don't be like him. The little <laughs> Dylan is chatting says the little mermaid. Little mermaid is a mean drunk. <laughs> <laughs> And fuck you, Ursula. You, you take my I legs. I just I my dad is king. You think you're some fucking prince? Is that what you fucking think? You you got you got tentacle. You should see you this you see a doctor about <laughs> that. Cause that's my friend is a crab. <laughs> we should do like the drunken Ariel cartoon. I want to like, be where the <laughs> like years yeah. later, years later when the marriage to Prince Eric has gone sour. <laughs> we could even like because the original fairy tale, you know, he decides to marry someone else, and she was about to murder them both in their beds. She was about to stab them to death, and then she decided against it, and she threw herself into the ocean and turned into sea foam. That's the original ending. Like you do, yeah. Right, yeah. So you could do, like, he cheats on her, and she hurls herself back into the ocean, but she doesn't turn into sea foam, she turns into a bitter drunk. <laughs> oh. Like, sucking the venom out of puffer fish and shit. All right. Well, next up, ah, oh, capitalism. Um, now we've all just endured Martin Scrawley lately. <laughs> Scrawley, yeah. His his name sounds like you're clearing your throat. Yeah. Um, we all just endured that shit, but it's not just you know at the very top where where uh corporations try to plunder the public good, like like Nestle and the water. You know about this Nestle bottles water from public land and then sells no. it yeah it's, it's they're like depleting aquifers nestle are pretty of, terrible yeah so but it's not just at that level even even the little tiny fish can be giant assholes this comes to us from canada the, nobody's assholes in canada it's like against the law the town of Wabana. Town mistakenly sold water system to company. Now, th this is a very long, involved article, so I'm going to sum up what happened here. The town's water purification system was on a, a property that also included... no, And no one was really aware of the property lines. It also included a dilapidated firehouse, which they publicly sold to be torn down to be developed. Well, a developer bought it, and now he's being like, no, no, finders keepers. And he wants to rent the town's drinking system back to the town. What a fucking asshole. And he's like, no, this is perfectly legal. I mean, listen, quote, it's on my deed. I bought a manufacturing property and all buildings and erections on it now and forever. I think the deed goes. I purchased the pro I purchased the property with the manufacturing building on it and the water station on it. It's in a small shed. And it's a community clean water drinking dispensing unit. So he's he's a, he's called to rent for three thousand dollars a month. This is a so tiny town. Have water. Yeah, this is a tiny town. This is like a little island. It's on Bell Island, in uh in Canada. It's it's like tiny, and he's he's trying. You prick. Have you ever seen the movie Waking Ned Divine? No, actually, I have not. I probably should. But a little tiny, t little tiny island in a, a little village in Ireland, and um, one of the one of the villagers wins the lottery, but he's dead. <clears throat> so they kind of all conspire to collect the winnings in his name. But there's this one old bitch in town that everybody hates, and she tries to blackmail them that she'll tell on them because they're committing fraud. But she, because she wants all the money for herself. And everyone's like, how could you stand to live in the village? She's like, well, I fucking hate you all anyway. And um, spoiler alert, her handy cart gets knocked off a cliff and it ends up not being a problem. 
movie's like 20 years old, so I'm not worried about spoiling it. I should you. see it. I should. Uh, everyone's. It's seen. excellent little Irish movie. It's great. That's this guy. Like you live in a little small town on an island. How much of an asshole do you think you're going to get away with being? They've they've called in lawyers. They but he's he's trying to fight this. He's trying to go to court and say, no, no, it's mine now. I keep it. It's it's not like you it's not like someone threw a football in your fucking yard, okay? Like, I don't know if you know this girl, but people can't live without water. It, so you're literally looking to charge these people to stay alive. And, and the, the the yeah, the your thing, neighbors. The, the thing is, the tax the they tried to make some money by getting rid of this old property, and now they're going to lose money by going to court to deal with this shithead. What's what's your name? What what is this fucker's name? I want everybody to know this fucker's name. Uh, Jim Bennett, owner of Beachstone Enterprises. You're a fucker. Yeah, you're an asshole. You're a you're 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 just you're a fucker. You're you're. I hope I hope Justin Trudeau knows who you are, and is very disappointed in you. <laughs> Man, wouldn't that be but great? I feel like that would be really painful. Wouldn't if that Justin be... Trudeau knew you and just thought you were kind of a disappointment? Wouldn't it be great if he just showed up and, and was like, we need to have a talk. Like, have a fucking press conference on the fucking island. And just, well, Justin and he, does, Trude... like, he does, like, super fucking yoga, too. Yeah. Like, he can plank, except without, with his, without his feet touching the floor. Like, he fucked up Trump's power grab handshake like he's not a dude you fuck with mr trudeau why don't you go if you're watching pay this fucker a visit i'm optimistic maybe you're watching i'm so sure justin trudeau is watching. he is maybe i can dream mr trudeau if you're watching go and go and pay mr jim bennett uh in, in the town of wabana on bell island go play go pay him a uh a visit and tell him to give the fucking water back and i'll talk with him you cocksucker oh not you, Mr. Trudeau. We, we, you, 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 all right, you're a little iffy. We've had some issues so far in your term, but you're generally your okay guy. Back in the day, this would have been a good old-fashioned douchequake. It would have been. Now we have a new old-fashioned douchequake right now. This, this is, this is, the, yeah, here. Douche, douche, douche. McDonald's drive through passenger pulls out replica AR-15 after ice cream dispute. Why? John Henry. The ice cream there is a fucking dollar. Jerry Henry fetches gun from trunk after driver gets angry about no ice cream. Delray, Florida. Of course it's fucking Florida. Delray Beachman wasn't happy that a nearby McDonald's didn't have any ice cream. So he pulled out a replica AR-15 rifle while he waited in the drive through line. Jerry Henry was arrested Monday after the incident at the McDonald's. Delray police say Henry was a passenger in the car at the drive through when the driver, who was ordering food at the intercom, became upset with the employee who was taking the order. According to probable cause affidavit, the driver, identified as Michael Delholm, was upset because the ice cream machine wasn't working. The employee told police that he watched from the store surveillance video as Henry got out of the front passenger seat, went into the trunk to remove what appeared to be a rifle. The employee told his co-workers they went in the bathroom to hide and called 911. Imagine, okay, just, I've been in retail. They don't get paid enough. You've been in retail. It's your, your fucking opening goddamn shift. You were up at five in the morning. And all of a sudden, the fucking ice cream machine doesn't work. So you have to worry about if you're going to die in a bathroom. Yep. With all your co- And you all smell like french fries. And you don't even like most of them. No. Also, like, what was the goal? Did you think that- they were going to be like, oh, well, you have a go I'm sorry. We were just kidding. Actually, the machine's fine. Yeah, it's not like, oh. Did you think that you were going to disassemble your fake rifle and there would be magically be the part they needed to fix the ice cream machine in there? Like, this wasn't going to get you ice cream. No. And also, here's, here's a mind-blowing thing. In my town, there is more than one McDonald's. <gasps> 
Well, that's not true everywhere. Yeah, but you know what? The, the ice cream McDonald's, the ice cream at Wendy's, the ice cream at fucking Burger yeah, King. Yeah, you could go to Wendy's and get a fucking Frosty. It's the same shit. Yeah. It, it's the same extruded, strangely manipulated, dairy-like you could go substance. You get a Froyo. Get a, yeah. There's a Froyo place like every 10 feet in suburbia now. Although weirdly, our town doesn't have one. I was going to say, if I were to offer you Froyo instead of ice cream, I might get a gun pulled on me. <laughs> I like Froyo. Uh, uh. <laughs> now, this is the last line I don't of this. I know the combination to your gun safe. <laughs> the last line of this story. Sure. The last line of the story is just is messing with my head. Henry was arrested on a charge of improper exhibition of a firearm. What's proper exhibition of a firearm? I mean, it's Florida, so. This is. When did this stop being plain old fucking assault? Yeah. You, it was my understanding if you pull a gun on someone, even if it's not a real gun, even if it is a gun and it's not loaded, the act of pulling a gun on someone constitutes an assault. Well, it's Florida. Legally, it does. But, well, okay, yeah, it's stand your ground fucking floor. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that. I don't know if you can stand your ground at the McDonald's because <laughs> the ice cream machine doesn't work. That'd be a hard sell. <laughs> I feel like even in Florida, that's a hard sell. I don't think that ice cream machine was threatening your life <sighs> by not working. And finally this week, I am so mad at people. This is, God, this is a lot of people making me mad this week. This is what, this is from uh, England. South, okay. I don't have kids. I'm probably never going to have kids. I know where we're going. You, did you read this one from the museum? Yeah. I don't have kids. I know other people who do, and a lot, quite a lot of them don't let their children treat the world like a playground. For good reason. And I respect that. And then there's... Other, other stuff that doesn't belong to you doesn't fucking belong to you. Yeah. The thing. And most people try to instill this in their kids. And then there's that one motherfucker. Yep. Ancient coffin breaks as child put in it at South End Museum. A historically unique 800-year-old stone coffin was damaged. Visitors to a museum put a child inside it. Part of the sarcophagus tumbled over and a chunk fell off. Staff were shocked and upset at the unbelievable incident. Those responsible were caught on closed circuit television, but ran off without reporting it. Lots to unpack here. Let's let's start with first of all, who the fuck goes to the museum with their kid and says, "Hey, honey, let's pose Junior in the ancient coffin." Yeah. That'll be one for the scrapbook. I mean, to be fair, when I toured a castle in Ireland with my nephew, who was seven at the time, I did take a picture of him in the dungeon. But you were allowed to go in the dungeon. It was a feature on the tour. Yeah, this thing is in like a glass. It's got glass risers on the sides. It's got signs that say, do yeah, not fucking generally touch. Generally, those are things that mean don't fucking touch it. I just, I mean, good. Who looks at their kid and goes, get in the box? Get in there. We're going to get a picture. Coffin. It's going on Instagram. Charming, you're taking a charming family photo of your child in a coffin, so that's bleak. Secondly, the oh shit, don't tell everybody, just run. Yeah. Did you not see the fucking cameras? Did you, you not? You're going to get caught. It, it's, they're they're going to know. They that's they are they are concerned with people doing this kind of shit in the museum. That's why there are the cameras. Hey. Just it 
It's not. That's cool. I mean, I'm sure your funny family photo was way more important than that 800 year old historical artifact, though. I'm sure that'll make a great Christmas card. Motherfucker! You can't even blame this on America because it's England. But still. Yeah, but they made America. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have to look at the parents. <laughs> oh no! It's... Clearly, we just weren't raised right. I, you know what? I did some shit when I was a kid. I, I will not lie. When I was like seven or so, and uh, we were at like an apartment complex, and it was like I think it was like the fall, and the pool was closed. Okay. The pool was closed. You were not supposed to go in the pool. It was in the fall. The pool was closed. And my little ass right in the pool. And then, then I had the audacity to go, no, I fell. It was an accident. <laughs> I was didn't there, like, mean to. ecosystem in there? <laughs> God, I don't know. My mom scrubbed me. <laughs> yeah. Because when a pool's not treated regularly, yeah. it gets pretty disgusting my point here is kids they will if you don't watch them they will be but this is not the same thing this is you as no, the this parent. was the parents idea they lifted the kid right. over the fucking barrier right this is this is the parents instilling in their child an idea that the world is their goddamn playground right what chance in life does this kid have not to grow up a total and complete douchebag well he's gonna grow up and he's gonna get a rifle he's gonna take it to fucking mcdonald's <laughs> No, they don't have ice cream. No, because it's England. They don't jerk off with guns in England. <laughs> He'll just move to America. There you go. You know, the, the first thing we've learned this week is <laughs> teach your goddamn kids better. And, and, and the museums, Be better. museums are not goddamn amusement parks. They're not. They're not playgrounds. They're not petting zoos. Shit's not Epcot. Yeah. We, we've learned that no matter how nice your gun is, it's not going to fix the ice cream machine. It's not. <laughs> Even Little if known it's... fact, guns and ice cream machines share absolutely no working parts. Terry, you realize what you just did there. Now someone on Twitter is going to be like, actually, there's a screen. That's what you just did. That's what you just did. You just did And I'm having pedantic furry day on Twitter. I've had like three pedantic furries yell at me today. So it's going to happen. We've learned that you don't fuck with fishermen. And don't swim drunk. Why would you swim drunk? Don't swim drunk. Don't give me that look. We've learned that uh, no matter how tiny and petty you may be in the grandscape of capitalism, there's still room for you to be a schmuck. There's always, somehow, there's always a bigger asshole. <sighs> We've learned that not only does meth make you extremely success, success, susceptible, I can speak words, susceptible to suggestion, it also makes your ambitions really small and stupid. Yeah, and petty. I mean, for fuck's sake, rocks. That's that's the best you got, pal. It's fucking purge night. And that's what you're going to do? And finally, we've learned that the eclipse does not mean time out on law enforcement. You, you, the eclipse is not the purge. Yeah, you... you <laughs> You need to, if you're going to do your crime and watch the eclipse. You got to separate them. Yeah, you, you, you got to, you've got to, to, to organize a little bit better. It's time management to be able to do the eclipse and steel car. It's. I like that he stole the car, but purchased the welding mask. <laughs> Well, he's he's not I'm a probably not going to have need for the welding mask again unless you're a welder. <laughs> Put the money towards the car. You're going to need that again. Well, he's not a barbarian, Tara. 
Just saying, that's not the that's not the smart investment. How much welding do you have planned this week? Maybe prison bars. <laughs> 